should be going to a home and saying, is this the last visit I'm going to be able to make? A bill in the Capitol wants to increase penalties against people who hurt DCFS workers on the job. Supporters of the proposal say it will keep workers safe. But not everyone thinks a new law will do enough to protect those employees. State Capitol reporter Theodora Kulavaris is live at the Capitol. Theodora, this is not the first time lawmakers have tried to pass this. Jennifer, a bill passed the Senate last year that would have done the same thing, but it stalled in the House. Now the sponsor is reintroducing it to protect employees. I made that commitment to her family last year that I would continue to push to get it passed. State Senator Doris Turner is following through with that commitment. Her bill aims to protect DCFS workers like Deidre Silas. Silas was stabbed to death last year while on a welfare visit in Thayer. Turner's proposal would make committing aggravated battery against a DCFS worker on the job a felony for people 21 and up. These are people that we entrust to uh, be the spokesperson for and take care of our most vulnerable citizens. And they come into uh, you know, some horrific situations and oftentimes you never know who's gonna be and what's waiting for you on the other side of that door. Since Silas's death, the state has passed a law allowing workers to carry pepper spray. Another offers continuing insurance coverage for families of workers who die on duty. Supporters of the bill say it will keep workers safe, but they also want to see other reforms to protect employees from working in pairs to being trained in de-escalation techniques. This is one aspect that would make them safer. But we, like I said, we absolutely agree that we should be doing a whole host of other things. We should be uh, giving them the tools that they need. Opponents of the bill also want to see those changes. But they say penalties are already high against people who commit crimes against DCFS workers and say a new law won't stop them. No one is in it that is committing these kind of violent acts against social workers are stopping to ask what level felony are, are you know, am I going to be facing, whether to decide whether to do this or not. Turner says the reforms don't stop at penalty enhancements. She says the DCFS working group has also been looking into other changes within the DCFS system and how the department operates. Reporting live at the Capitol, I'm Theodora Kulavaris, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Theodora, thank you.